welcome to hacks where we try to simplify cyber security today we're back on hack this site looking at the realistic missions and we're going to be doing realistic number 14 um, unfortunately as far as i can tell this site this challenge is actually broken um, i could be wrong so don't quote me on this if it's changed in any way then fair enough but I cannot seem to find a way to exploit it in the way that it's intended to be exploited and based on the forum posts and all the other articles that I've read regarding this challenge the methods that they used no longer work and I can't seem to find a method of completing it without cheating basically um, so I've messaged them on their Discord, on the Hackness site Discord. Uh, nobody's got back to me yet. I'm recording this video and I'm going to do a write-up, send that through to them. So hopefully they can tell me what I'm doing wrong or if the challenge is a little bit broken, maybe they can fix it. So I'm just going to blitz for it as fast as I can. Uh, we got this basic website, Yappers. You've got a search function, have a news function, finance function, mail function, web function, people function. Now, on the news function, on the news page, um, if you click on the news stories, you get the CGI parameter story equals one, which you can navigate through as you would expect for all news stories. Now, based on the forums that I've looked at and the different posts, it suggests that we need to use a null byte. As a CGI, um, a null byte is the way to terminate the syntax and it even says on the forum on on a number of walkthroughs that you need to use a null byte in order to do it so when I attempt to use the null byte I do it after story equals and then I put the dot the percentage and zero zero and it just says fail to load news now you can try it without the period or the full stop and you get the same result I've tried doing other escapes, but you just get uh, malformed inputs. And if we look what's actually going on in Burp Suite, it's not terminating the syntax at all. So let's jump back into Burp. If we send it to repeater quickly got the request and response there hopefully my picture doesn't get in the way too much but if we send that what you'll see is it's still a pending dot news to it no matter what we do so we can change it remove the dot send that dot news so that it just doesn't seem like there's a way to escape the actual CGI script. Now, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to get a directory listing of all the like the hidden directories, and then from that you can proceed through a challenge. Now, I've tried absolutely everything. So, if I send it to Intruder, what I've done is if we clear the payloads and just add it back on that null point, and then we go back to payloads. I've created a payload list of known sort of command injections to sort of try to escape. So if I start the attack, you can see that I've got null bytes in there. Now again, I could be getting this completely wrong, but this is how everyone says it needs to be done. But every response from the server just appends the dot news onto the end, which is not what we want. Or if we look at the different response length, we get a malformed request. And no matter what I've tried to get around this, nothing seems to work. Now, I'm not sure if the method has changed and this was never the initial method. But the, the, the forums, the posts on the forums, all seem to suggest that this is the way to do it. However, there is no way to do it. Now, in order to combat this, there is a way around this first part. All I did was I used a virtual machine. Or you can use you can do it on your base if you're using Linux or if you've got like a brute forcing tool on your base that you can use. But I just told it to look for all CGI files after the realistic mission 14. 
and then you get this moderator.cgi. Now what you're supposed to do with this from what I've gathered so far in the challenge is you're supposed to go back to the news section and where it's got news story equals what you can do is you're supposed to be able to just do moderator dot cgi with the null byte or administrator dot cgi with the null byte and again i've tested this with like so many payloads now i'm just i'm banging my head against the wall so i've given up and i've just essentially cheated um but it's supposed to be reading the file not like it's supposed to be reading the actual contents of the cgi script and in that script you find a username called is admin i s a d e m i n which is how you proceed to the next part but without the null byte working or any other form of command inject os command injection or anything like that i actually can't see a way to do it um but once you have the directory listings and you have that user you can go to moderator.cgi type in is admin and log in and then you get this moderator panel where you can search for different accounts now this didn't work initially either um what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put a wildcard in there and click submit however when i first did it it told me the username couldn't be found so i had to do it through burp suite and then it worked immediately i'm not sure if it's character encoding but to combat that i have url encoded everything and tried it as well especially with the null byte so it's something <laughs> i'm struggling to understand a bit i think maybe this wasn't the intended method to do it and now that they've refined the application perhaps it's a different method to do it but everything i've read suggests this is the correct way Anyway, you get the username web guy, you get the password, really, really, really long password. You copy it, you make a note of it, and you head back to Realistic 14, where you get the web permit and the login page. So you click on the login page, you got your password as, you got your username as web guy. You got your password as really, really long password that is very, very hard to guess or crack. You pop that in. You pop that in, but you don't miss off the R from the start of the password. And then you are logged in as web guy, and all you need to do is click on the administrator panel, and then you should complete the mission. But yeah, um, if anybody from Hack This Site is watching or reading, again, I'm sorry if I'm misunderstanding the challenge and I'm not doing that part of it correctly. However, there are posts on the forum and on everybody else's sites that have done this challenge that say that this is the correct method to do it. And I haven't fully demonstrated the extent I've gone to in order to try to get that null byte to work. But every sort of attempt that I've done, I've even gone at like 100 directories just to sort of, not 100, but every attempt I've done, I've tried to do this mission has failed. And of course, I want to progress to the next one and finish all the challenges. So this obviously presents a bit of a problem for me. So I had to go through and find the example guide. Um, lessons to be learned. Again, content input validation, you know, make sure you can't escape uh scripts um i think it is an inherent problem with cgi scripts anyway because it relies on like c or c sharp on the actual os uh, I'm not too familiar with cgi scripts but yeah uh but that's it from me um a bit disappointed that it didn't work however i could be completely mistaken but again uh chuck moore whose youtube videos are really good he does it this way there's another youtuber that i watched who did it this way uh, all the guides I've read have done it this way and I've been banging my head against a brick wall for ages trying to figure out a way to do it thinking is this just me am I doing this wrong um, so yeah let me know your thoughts anyway that's it for me today kind regards see you next time bye